yeah, cake basically has uh, the loads that it needs to defend, or basically the accumulation range that it's trying to do here is between $1.50 to $2, right? Once it breaks out above the most recent highs of $2.10 um, on, on a, uh, let's say, a weekly close, then it looks like it wants to beat its 20 week moving average. And ultimately, if it can get back above this price here, we'll move that line across, which is uh, 250 or 255, um, then basically, excuse me, it'll start to make some pretty good moves and start to try to go towards five bucks. So um, right now you're basically getting like a 2X plus uh, move potential, right? If it can really accumulate under here, then break out above 255. So not bad at all for cake either. And yeah, I think, um, you know, uh, with Money Gang and with DCC and stuff, we've been talking about um, basically CZ getting out of prison, Binance chain, you know, starting to get some some press. You know, it's kind of funny, you know, the market's starting to look good when CZ is about to come back to the market. I'm like, he has the most Bitcoin in the world out of anybody except for Satoshi Nakamoto in terms of Binance as an or organization, not him as an individual. Um, but it's like, you know, I think, I think Binance can do some damage once, you know, he's back at the helm. I know his wife has been basically uh, running a lot of the background of the company. That's what I've heard, you know, kind of some of the rumors have been. And so uh, obviously they have the CEO, I think it's Richard Tang or something like that, but um, he's been the, the face of the company. But, you know, basically, even though CC has been in prison, like I think most of what he's wanted to happen while he's away has. And so it's kind of interesting. I could see CZ, you know, coming out of Santa Barbara and being like, hey, Justin, time to buy, you know, and start calling all the all the old school bros and being like, hey, we're back. I don't know. It's just a good narrative. I like that narrative for, you know, it's a big middle finger to the SEC and uh, crypto coming back when, you know, uh, we kind of have one of uh, one of the the thought leaders of the space, even though everybody, you know, from the outside is looking at him negatively because of the, the DOJ. Yeah, I mean, part of the deal apparently that he signed was that he wouldn't run the company for right. six months or or something. But you technically once haven't. he got out and right. so yeah i love the, <laughs> i love the conspiracy theory that he is still pulling the strings you know i wouldn't be surprised uh, i mean like come on you don't put you know people in the in the boardroom <laughs> that you know are going to disagree with you too much right i mean yeah yeah he's probably got like uh you know some secret language of emojis that he send, <laughs> sends his uh you know well yeah i mean obviously insiders. he's gonna be his communication is gonna be tapped by the government and stuff like that but you know he might have given him a game plan before he went in and being like hey you know execute these things well for over the next you know nine months or something like that but hey it, you know yeah i mean it, it's also interesting that the the federal courts reinstated the hex lawsuit against finance mm. uh, which you know, through their holding company, Coin Market Cap, had they were accused of manipulating the price of Hex by keeping us at rank 201 throughout the 2021 right. bull market. And so, yeah, it's it's just it's really interesting that you know the government they they already kind of had their way with them once, and now you know maybe they're going to actually do the right thing. I don't know, but but yeah, those types of lawsuits they take many years to play out it's good to know that it's it's not dead anymore though yeah i mean uh arthur hayes right when he got uh his charges put against him it wasn't for market manipulation or doing anything you know uh nefarious like that but it was mostly for uh i believe uh stable coin acceptance on mexi at the time uh with usdt so they actually went after uh like the us dollars more than they went after the market manipulation or, or market influence or however you want to talk about it, right? Um, so I don't really <laughs> trust the government to do the right thing and actually go after anything somebody's actually done. They go after their own interests mainly. Um, but hey, you know, uh, it is what it is.